We started like everybody else, taking one or two here and there. But then before we knew it, we amassed a rather large quantity. Nobody ever said anything, so we assumed we weren't hurting anybody. Maybe in one city one weekend, another city, another weekend, gathering more and more. Before we knew it, we had picked in more Christmas market mugs than we knew what to do with. A little decorated ceramic mug. Quite a harmless little kitsch object, really. But the center of a massive controversy and conspiracy in Germany. Hey guys, and welcome back to our channel. I am Donnie, and along with my wife, Aubrey, we are two Americans currently living in Germany and sharing all of our experiences living and traveling throughout Europe. So maybe you've been to a German Christmas market and you bought yourself a Glühwein. You probably paid anywhere from like two to three euros for the drink, but then you also paid about a one to two euro deposit for the mug itself. But as you were sipping, you were drinking, you were looking at the mug, you were realizing how beautiful, how colorful it was, how you unique it was to the market or city that you're at, and you started thinking you might want to take the mug as a souvenir for this magic moment. So go ahead and write in the comments right now, do you take Christmas market mugs or do you think it's wrong and you never would take one from a market and you always return it back to the vendor? And so whenever you're done with your glue vine, you can either take your mug back and get your deposit back or you can keep your mug as a souvenir. Now, there is a ton of debate online about whether or not you legally are allowed to take these cute little tassen as souvenirs, or if you are actually committing a crime that could be punishable with up to three years in prison if you do. And after we mentioned taking the mugs as souvenirs in our other videos, and you can either return the mug and get your deposit back or take it as a souvenir. We received a ton of comments from you guys about how this is actually stealing and you should never take the Christmas mark market mugs. So being the natural kind of curious person that I am, I have to ask the questions, does taking Christmas market mugs really put you on the naughty list? Does the deposit for the mugs actually cover the cost of the mugs to the vendor? Or is taking Christmas market mugs actually just a legal and moral gray area? Okay, so we do have a pretty substantial collection of Christmas market mugs, and we've been going to Christmas markets for about four years and collecting our favorites all along that way. And every year we see tons of people leaving with their mugs from Christmas markets that we go to, and we'll go over to friends' homes and they'll serve drinks out of their favorite Christmas market mugs during the Christmas season. And we will hear tons of people gawking over their favorite unique designs that they find at the different markets they go to in a year. And one thing that you will notice about a lot of the mugs is that they have unique designs to the city or the market that they came from, and they often will also have the year that they were used printed on the mug. So with the combination of seemingly everybody taking them and the year printed on them, giving the impression that they will only be used once, people often assume that it's perfectly acceptable for them to take them. is coming Start sending your letters off to Santa Christmas is coming yeah. Better be nice if you want your present so that is one argument for people justifying that it is okay to take the mugs. But for the second argument justifying taking them, you first need to know a very important German word known as Fond. Fond would be translated as deposit and is a word that you see nearly every day in Germany. As an example, when you go to a grocery store in Germany, to take a cart, you typically have to put a small fond into the basket to get it unlocked from the other carts. Usually you have to use a 50 cent, one euro, or a two euro coin in order to take it out. Once you return the basket and lock it up to the others, you will receive your fond or deposit back from the cart. Of course, if we want to get really nitty and gritty, this may not even really be considered a true fond considering you can use a little plastic coin or keychain to receive the basket rather than money and these along with the coins may actually just be considered a key to unlock the baskets rather than a true fond but let's just keep it simple let's say that this is a 
True font. Based on a very quick and surface level Google search, we can see a shopping cart could cost anywhere from let's say 100 to 250 ish dollars per cart. So obviously by putting in a one euro coin to receive a cart, one cannot try and make the argument that this deposit paid for the cart and gives them ownership of the cart because of the massive difference in value in what was used to retrieve the cart. Now, like I mentioned earlier, you typically will pay an additional one euro to two euros as a deposit for your mug at a Christmas market in addition to the price for the drink inside the mug. Therefore, the second argument for keeping the mug is that there is no way the mug costs more than the font to produce, so you have covered the cost of the mug with the deposit and you are now justified in taking the mug. When we lived in the US, I worked for an electronics manufacturing company where we mass produced hundreds of different electronic items that were sold around the world. As I was directly involved in working with our manufacturers, I learned generally how much it costs to manufacture products in mass quantities, and I therefore have a general idea of how much something like a little mug should cost to produce. Based on my own professional experience, I can pretty safely assume that the fond paid at most Christmas markets should in fact definitely cover the cost of the production of the mug fairly easily, but I wasn't 100% certain, so I wanted to find out. If you flip over almost any Christmas market mug, you will see one name over over and over again, and that is Mojaba. Mojaba is the Christmas market mug maker for German Christmas markets. They are located in Germany between Aachen and Cologne, and I decided who better to reach out to to ask about the cost of these mugs, the font for them, and the manufacturing process for them than the Christmas market mug people. So I did, and well, they didn't get back to me. Maybe they have no interest in giving out their business secrets to some guy on YouTube, so I had to look elsewhere and I found an article online that both answered my question as to, does the font cover the cost of the mug to the vendor? And an even bigger question, do the vendors care if you take them. In an article by the Augsburger Allgemeine, the operator of the Angel Christmas Pyramid drink stand in Augsburg told their reporter that the purchase price for a cup is just over two euros and the deposit is three euros. If you add to that what we break, we come out at zero. Okay, so yes, the deposit technically gives them a very small profit on the mug if one takes it, but with those that they break, they end up breaking even. Of course, different sized Christmas markets will be ordering different amount of mugs and larger markets will get them cheaper and smaller markets may have to pay more because of order quantities. So they may be affected differently. But he also goes on to tell the paper, it's not only whether the mold wine tastes good that counts, but also whether the customer likes the cup, he says. That's why he's not upset if he's missing cups at the end of the day. That happens regularly too. Real quick guys, I just wanted to say that if you're enjoying this video, if you took a second, hit that like and subscribe buttons and also just leave a comment about what you're enjoying, that would be a massive support to our channel. But I also wanna give a huge shout out and thanks to our Patreons over on Patreon for supporting our channel. And if you wanna know other ways that you can support our channel, I will leave a link in the description to our Patreon page. But with that, let's get back to the video. So the drink vendor in Augsburg said it is very common that the mugs aren't returned, but just how common is it that they don't return? An article from the Kulnerstadt Anzeigner states, simply pocketing the mulled wine cup is not unusual. It is already planned during production that many of them are simply taken away. Around 80% of the cups do not return to the stand, estimates Nina Kampe from the Santa Pauli Christmas Market in Hamburg. Even arguably the most famous Christmas market in Germany, the Nuremberger Christkindlmarkt, confirms on their official website the exact same thing figure. A new design each year makes the mugs a sought after collector's item. 80% are taken home as a souvenir of the Chris Kindlesmacht. So to review what we have found out so far, most likely the font does in fact cover the cost of the mug, if not more, but the vendor doesn't necessarily profit from the deposit. It also is very common for them to be taken, and in fact, roughly 80% are taken each year. And as the Kuhlstadt Anzeiger further explains, at Christmas markets in Germany, it is generally accepted and even welcomed if visitors keep the deposit cups from the mulled wine stand. Oh, and we also learned that Mojaba didn't want to talk to me. But this still doesn't really answer the question on whether or not it is technically legal. And some of you may be yelling at your screen, so what if the deposit covers the mug? It still is just a deposit and not a purchase price. So there is 
one thing I need to make very clear. I am not a lawyer, whether it be in the US or in Germany. So when it comes to the finer details of the law in either country, I am not the expert. But actually, the answer as to the basic question of is it legal to take the mugs is pretty clear cut for everybody to understand. Again, as a non-legal expert, what I found is that there really are two German laws that will dictate the legality of taking the Christmas market mugs, section 242 of the criminal code and section 246. Section 242 deals with theft and comes with punishment of up to five years in prison. However, this section has some gray area in which this probably wouldn't be used to punish a mug thief because of the fact that the vendor physically gives the mug to the user and because once a person walks away from a stand, it becomes difficult to distinguish that specific mug belonging to the stand from those given at other stands. Section 246 would supposedly be more likely to be used to prosecute because this section deals with embezzlement and since the vendor knowingly gives the mug, technically this now constitutes embezzlement rather than theft and this crime holds a possible punishment of up to three years imprisonment. However, at the end of the source article that I read, which I will link in the description, they mention one thing that a lot of other sources agreed with. The public prosecutor's office will probably regularly refrain from prosecution under section 153 of the German Code of Criminal Procedure. If the stall operator actually files a criminal complaint under section 248A of the German Criminal Code for embezzlement of a low value item. Basically, you wouldn't ever be punished for taking a Christmas market mug because it would be dismissed on the grounds of insignificance. So if one is accepted and encouraged in some cases to take them, two, it is a common known fact 80% of them are taken every year anyways, three, you are basically paying for the mug with your fond, and four, you would almost certainly not be punished for this crime anyways, why don't they just change the fond from a fond to a price for the mug to make all the legal and moral gray area just go away. Well, for one, of course, you have 20% of mug users who don't want to keep the mug and they wouldn't be happy about being forced to buy the mug. And two, it actually helps with the cleanup of the market because the stall owners don't have to go out and grab the mugs themselves from where they were left after being drunk as the font encourages people to return them or uh, take them. So, okay, let's just be blunt and straightforward with this issue. Is taking the Christmas market mugs illegal? Yes, and all experts agree with this judgment. Will you likely get in legal trouble for taking a mug? No. Is it expected they will be taken? Yes. Do you need to hide taking one? Probably not. Should you take one? Well, since I've just said it is illegal, I think that it might not be the right thing for me to outright tell you that you should, but what the proper action really probably should be is that everybody just take the mug back to the vendor and simply ask if they can keep it or if there's a price they can pay to actually purchase it. To wrap things up, I want to give you a German word of the day and for this video that would be Besserwisser. The direct translation would be a better knower or what we would call in English a know-it-all. Or using a sentence, these Besserwissers are trying to convince me I committed a major crime by taking my Christmas market mug. To see who made it this far into the video, the random question of the week is die Sendung mit der Maus or Benjamin Blümchen? Which is the superior children's show? Thanks so much for watching. Be sure to hit that like and subscribe buttons and we will see you in our next video. Tschüss. Does the deposit cover the cost of the mugs to the vendor and in an article from the Kulner Stadt Anzeiger Anzeigner and I decided who better to reach out to at and I decided who better to reach out. Mm.